How's it guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today we are doing an interview with Manu over here. How are you doing Manu? Good, how are you Sean? I'm good, thank 100%. you. 100%. Uh, Manu reached out to me on Instagram, yeah. social media, and uh, he sent me some pics of his Mini Cooper. And I knew that we had to review this one guys. It obviously took some time because uh, there were a few things that he wanted to perfect on the car. You know how it is, when guys want to show their car off, they want to make sure everything is perfect, right? Eh? Fair enough. So, um, this over here, you guys might know as um, White a Mini, which was built by Team Nerdo, guys. And I know you guys love Team Nerdo. 100%. Tell us a little bit of background about this build because um, you said that this was sort of a therapy for yeah, you, right? Yeah, it was sort of a therapy. So in June of 2020, just after hard lockdown, I got hijacked and kidnapped. And uh, after that, I'd go to therapy and, and so forth. Long story short, my therapist said, you're a businessman, so you like making something out of nothing. Um, are you into sports? Are you into, I'm not really into sports. I'm not really into a lot of things, but I'm into cars. So he said, okay. If you can, try build a car. And so that's where the idea came from. Um, I didn't want a Beetle. I know you have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want a Beetle. Um, and then I ended up with the Mini. And then um, I bought one. Um, it was red, not, 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 not this red. Um, didn't look anything like this. And then that's where the, the, the build began. I got referred to Spew and them because they're you know, specialists when it comes to the dream that I had, putting a panoramic roof on this car. I checked all across the net. There's only two that I saw both in England, but none with the double popper. Okay. And uh, I was worried that I may not be able to, to get it done. And a lot of people thought it's technically impossible because of the size of the car. Spiro had a look at it. She said, no, nah, I know it would reinforce. I know what to do. And um, yeah, we began the build and uh, took a bit of time. And uh, that's where a lot of people know the car from because a lot of people followed the car. And uh, here she is today. did the build. Yeah. Can you just explain to the audience what exactly they did? Was it just uh, the sunroof or? No, so they did everything. Um, we had to strip the paint. So I wanted the same color, only to find it had seven layers of color underneath. So the car had been it, repainted I mean, many it's a times. It's 40, 44 year old car or something like that. So Spiro reckoned we have to take this car down to metal. So we took it down to metal stripped it shell you know what i mean um and then yeah he he we repainted it uh he did the interior he did the roof of course um and then we chromed everything that we could possibly chrome to bring out that that shine okay um i must say that um sourcing some of the little bits was very difficult um so for example the door handles the the, the, the little squirt for the, for the windscreen, that thing with the, with the water. Yeah. All of that, the seat belts, that came straight from England. Um, and you can imagine how long it took for it to come here. And you hope that it's the right stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he did everything. He did the sound. Um, yeah, he did literally everything that was to be done on the car. The only thing that we didn't touch was the engine. Um, it was running when I, when, I, when, I, when I took it to him, so all the bodywork and, and everything. He designed, he did the engineering on the spaces. So you may think that these wheels are narrows and, and, and wides are narrows. No, it's same profile with a very specific engineering on the spaces okay. so that the chassis of the car and the suspension back and front is not compromised. So it was a long story. But yeah, he got it done somehow. Yeah, that's, that's what uh, Team Nerdo does, guys. Yeah. They get things done. Yeah. They know what to do. Um, Here's let's the owner let's of the have car. A, a little look at the interior, guys. Okay, 
so we are on the inside of the the mini guys this is a 1275 e yeah, yeah. which is very close to a 1300 it's it's amazing how quick and nippy this car is because on the way here while we were doing rolling shots we were actually chasing this car guys these cars were actually built for rally and yes, racing it's unbelievable 100%. how quick and nippy these little mini coopers are yeah tell us a little bit about your experience driving this thing you say you don't use it as a daily right? no i don't use it as a daily it's my weekend car um when the owner allows me to use it um but yeah my experience of driving it um it's a fun car to drive um when you put foot it goes um of course not 160 or whatever the case may be but i can take you i mean exactly. uh, yeah, yeah yeah i can take you i can you take you gaps between taxis no? yeah yeah you know when you when you move in between so it's a nice little nippy car um um the engine the engine is quite solid it was built by a guy called jono mm -hmm. um he's he's all the way north cliff and he built me a really solid engine we put just a bit of spice in the engine just so that i can cruise very comfortably on the highway um so i can do a 140 easily so this engine is the third one the first time um i got charged one way i got my school fees took it took it to someone who claimed to build me an engine yeah, it didn't end well. Second engine, this is the third one. Second engine um, was cool. I bought it from someone else um, and then I messed it up. And then this engine, Jono built it for me because um, I broke the last one. So he put enough spice in it so that I don't break this one. And yeah, she's still running. So yeah, but yeah, I really enjoy her. Um, when I do drive her on weekends with uh, this young man um, and his siblings, yeah, we love this car. So you mentioned that it's his car? Yes, this is this is this is Chrissy's car. Um, many people ask me to sell and, and whatever the case, I'm not I'm not doing that. This is his car. He was he was um he was a few months old when I got hijacked. And it's funny they say you see your life flash before your eyes. I literally I remember remember they kidnapped me. And I remember as I was driving, I was thinking about him. So when I built this, it's just the thing. I was, it, 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 it's a healing from all of that. But also I'm glad that I'm still here. I mean, the worst could have happened. You know what I mean? Definitely. So um, I see it's got that red and white feel with the white on the roof and the red paint. Yeah. And then on the interior, we've got a similar feel. White leather with yeah. red stitching. Yeah. Um, was that your choice or did you leave most of the styling up to the guys at Team Nerdo? Uh No, that was my choice. Um, I, I wanted to go red and white. Um, outside and inside, so a nice contrast. Okay. A whole lot of red on the outside, red and then, and then white on the inside. A lot of people say, but why would you put white seats? Hey man, it's been four years and they're still fine. And it's old school, I mean, yeah. old school white was a thing. You know what I mean? White uh, hood lining. Yes, yes. You've got the LED set up here. Yeah. Um, did Team Nardo do any special electronics where your roof opens via remote or anything? Uh, like no, no, it opens via switch. Um, he did give me a charging port okay. um, and he imp brought this in from a golf and he did a clever little thing there. The LED lights were his idea. Okay. So, that so it looks lights quite up. Nice and yeah, you should definitely. see it at night. It's, it's quite crazy with the roof. So it just goes through. So earlier on, you were asking me um, about the net. He was like, "Let's not put the net because that will will distort the light coming in." But particularly at night when you put that on, just leave it. Yeah. Just leave it. So so yeah. And then these red seat belts, did they come like that, or is that also something no, you guys? No, this procured? we had to import. So we had to import the. We had to import this. Yeah. We had to import the door handles, um, all the nice net bits we had to import straight from India. Okay, so um, obviously minis have 13 inch wheels. It needs a, a mini wheel for a mini car. Yeah. Uh, where did you find those wheels? So, there are very few places you can get them. There's a guy who specializes in mini parts, a mini community, um, Boxer Group. 
so boxer group supplied um, the wheels and we continue to go for him go to him for various other parts but um, as we see there it's got a 175 yeah. 13 yeah you know it's not lowered so you don't really need a stretch tire that's obviously not the look you're going no for. no no but Spiro wants us to uh, wants us to lower this guy he wants us to bag it actually no bagging it ain't bad because when it parks it would be low yeah but you know for driving 100% and you know the classic car minis I've, I've actually never seen a mini on air honestly that's what and you see when you say that you're getting pure excited right <laughs> you see <laughs> you see so you once you, already he's like okay only mini in africa with the panoramic now i want to put it on air and then actually it says then you give it to me and i take it to shows i say oh, well, so um, think about that. speaking about the sunroof yeah so uh, you told us this is a second gen mini sunroof 100 percent. so the r56 mini coopers um, so like your Cooper S's in particular, they come with uh, these double pop-up. So it, the, the difference is that both can tilt, 100%. but then one can also slide. And there. then one slides fully. So when it's sliding fully, this one goes down, this one comes on top. And um, is that probably one of the most insane ideas you've had when doing this build? Eh? I was told it's impossible. I was told because of the size of the roof to the, the panoramic to the body ratio the, the the rigidity of the car is going to be compromised i was told a lot of things but she runs she hasn't broken enough and it's working and it's working you guys see team nerdo know their story guys uh, they've done a lot of cars and that's why we actually thought we'd feature the bulk because like i said before i know you guys love the Okay, so um, we've spoken about the sun, we've yeah. spoken about the wheel, we've had a chat about the interior. Now let's have a chat about the exhaust because obviously Mini has like a one pipe coming yeah. out the middle. Yeah. Yours has that four pipe look going on. 100%. There. Um, is there a reason you went for the four pipe look? I just, I just liked it. Um, I didn't want, remember, we're starting off from a place where we're going for a different Mini. In, 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 in its entirety. Um, we've talked about the roof and everything. So I was, I was going with that flow and I said, I'd never actually seen a four pipe mini. Yeah. I've seen, you know, they come with double pipes in the middle yes, or whatever. Yes, yes. Um, and I didn't know if it was going to look good. Um, we sat, we debated with Spiro how we're going to do it. And eventually we decided if we got the right size of, of tips, and we got the right um, exhaust work done so that it sounds decent. I mean, it is a 1.2, but it sounds decent yeah. with a bit of throat, then it would work. And yeah, she's quite throaty for a 1.2. You should hear her in the morning. You guys will see from these rolling shots here what it sounds like. sounds amazing so um, I can tell you guys that it's got a one pipe system that's then split into two and then the tail pipes both have two tail pieces yeah. on it yeah uh, but when it comes to um, to building a car with yeah. Team Nerdo yeah do they give you a quote on building the entire car and then you just leave everything in their hands um I must think back so how we started it evolved with time you know um we should respect these guys this is an art what they do is an art definitely so we went there with one idea um and as we continued the idea evolved um but when i when i when i got there he he was able to look at it and give me a good estimation of what it was going to cost me of course you find hojas as you do it i mean 
stripping the car down to metal was not part of the plan. Exactly. Seven layers of paint was not part of the plan. So it's an old car. There's, there's things that are not part of the plan that crop up. But the good thing is he's not going to tell you, I think it'll be A and then you end up at Z. Yeah. If you do that, it's because of your own, um, you getting carried away. I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. Um, but but um, yeah, he talks you through it. Very communicative. Um, he gets very excitable. Spear will finish painting the car at whatever time. You wake up in the morning and there's WhatsApps because Spear was up at like one o'clock in the morning spraying your car or had just finished something. So it's a, it's a quite enjoyable experience to work with them. So um, before we go, I just uh, want to find out where you got your passion for cars from. Um, you know, I went to a comedy show the other day and the comedian, even though I was joking, was talking about soothing the inner child. I think my passion came from soothing the inner child. And I think a lot of our passions for cars come from soothing the inner child. We grew up seeing the bigger boys in cool cars and all you wanted was a cool car with sound, with rims, with... So I think that's where it came from. And so even though it was part of therapy, um, I think it, it tied in, it tied in very nicely, you know. But yeah, I think to answer your question in one phrase, soothing the inner child. Definitely. And now uh, this young man, you're gonna grow him up in car yes, as well. Yes, yes, yes. So, so uh, you guys will share a couple of projects more as he grows up. Eh? Starting him young. Um, you must, uh, you tell the uncle that you clean the engine. I will clean the engine. You clean the engine. <laughs> So yeah, that's, that's one of his favorite uh, things. We clean the engine. Starting him young, um, change a spark plug here and there with him. Teach him. But uh, teach him. By what the time he's... Uh, yes, 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 exactly. Star, you know. um, just the basic thing is to get him in there. I have no plans of selling this car. I'm going to keep it and um, give it to him. And uh, yeah, hopefully he can, uh, he can pass it on as well if he keeps it for as long. Keeps it as pristine. 100%. No, thank you so much for thank giving you, us the opportunity to have a look at thank your you, car, Thank Manu. you, thank you, thank you. If guys want to follow you, where can they find you? Um, I'm personally not on any social media, but the car is, because a lot of people come to the car and ask for photos and whatever. Its Instagram handle is the number plate, so wait a mini, wait underscore a underscore mini. It's on the side as well. Um, so yeah, if it, so there's, there's content there for the car um, and, and guys can enjoy it. We switch with, with Nerdo as well when he, when he has some content about the car, if I take the car there. Um, so yeah, wait underscore, or W8 underscore A underscore mini underscore GP on Instagram. Yeah. There we go guys, I'll put the details up on screen. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you guys know what to do. Head to our channel page and look out for more dope content like yep. this. We've got a lot of content. Yep. Uh, I know you subscribe. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe but button, hit that button. like button, and share this content with your family and friends, guys. Peace. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.